Hello, this is Athena with AMG Creates, and it's Tuesday, which means that I'm going to be chucking these things in my daughter's lunchbox because I'm a good mom. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm using um, Sweet Spiders and Sweet Spiders add-on, and um, so my daughter knows that I am not a fan of creepy crawlies um but yet every so often she likes to uh, she's basically doing this thing with her hand where she she crawls it up my arm or whatever i have never had bugs on me before i've never had, well heavy bugs like that i've never had that happen to me and i oh i don't like it i don't like it at all she thinks it's the funniest damn thing on the planet <sighs> so, anyway, um, and while I'm not a big, I don't, spiders are, are very helpful and everything, and I, I don't like how they walk. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I am doing two different kinds. Um, I am doing a, a darker in color. Uh, one and then the other one is going to be much lighter in color. I have the three usual subjects for um, for Halloween stamp colors, for Halloween colors in general. So this one is obviously the darker one. I realized afterwards, and I think that she'll make the connection too, that it's very Wednesday and... I can't remember the other girl's name, but I'm going to have to look it up, and that's going to take some time. Um, I think it's Astrid, but I can't remember. Enid. Mm, that was close. So, yeah, it's very. this one is very Wednesday, the other one is very Enid. Um, just really dark, and, and that's the thing, is that I like... Um, I like these colors <laughs> and I had realized afterwards that I should have put um, I should have put this on first so that it it still picked up really well and and that's the thing so this is all fun she's gonna look at it and laugh and then she's gonna throw it away and I'm cool with it that's why I'm not really taking too much effort with it not to say that I wouldn't just to say that she's gonna throw it away so there's no point um so I'm looking in the sweet spiders add-on I like this because it's not just um Halloween so you have um have a and then treat filled crawl some birthday day halloween night um you caught you make my heart <laughs> spin time flies with you and then of course we have a couple of little ones on there um but yeah it's <laughs> that's what i put was that I put a fly on there that says time flies when I'm with you because um, it's cute and then this one this one is the lighter one where I learned that I should have put everything down first what I mean is that I should have I should have inked first before I put down the spider web um, even though it, it did look really cool, and then I put a pen back over it, and now it looks weird, but that's okay. So this one is going to be very bright and citrusy. That's the only thing I can think of, is is very citrusy. I was having a bit of a hard time figuring out where to put the web.
so I had done this in my um in my plan with me yesterday as well where I just attached the the ends um, and of course with me being left-handed and um, Michael's cardstock isn't isn't catchy at all it's very slick so and now you can see that I just absolutely smudged the bejesus out of this um, which again is fine Should I have waited? Probably. I should have actually done the coloring first. Um, now this is Distress Oxide, which means that it lays on top of the paper and it makes it really easy for blending. So while it looks weird on here, whenever it dries, it actually kind of smoshes all together and it blends really well. It still looks citrusy. In my mind, it's like, if I lick this, it's going to be sour kind of thing. I can assure you, it does not. It tastes more like chalk. Don't ask how I know. Here, I'm just coloring the spider because I didn't want the spider to be any weird color. I figured gray was going to be good enough. And then this whole thing again, I forgot that the spider needed something to hang off of. Um, I'm also coloring in the, uh, the spots that the mask took over, the little thing that I put on top of the spider. Um, yeah, I'm doing that. I put on here, have a crawlsome day. I thought that it was cute. And then I go over the everything with a pen and it kind of works out. It kind of looks shadowy. But I should have just left it alone. I should have actually drawn that connector web to from the web to the spider first and then done all the coloring and then did the thing. But, you know, this is where we're at. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed these. Um, please let me know down below. If you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And make sure to like or dislike. Leave a comment with whatever you like doesn't matter to me. Either way, thank you so much for watching.